Hi guys. All right, we're gonna do the outline part. I'm just trying to make sure I can see everything. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna use the little liner brush, this pointy guy. Uh, so get that ready and the black. So a couple of things with the black. Try not to make a mistake with the black. Oh gosh, that sounds bad. But <clears throat> really, it's the most difficult to fix the black because sometimes it'll leave a shadow or smudges. A um, couple of pointers when you're painting the lines. Make sure your plate's all dry at this point. Make sure you don't have you know, wet spots because you're going to want to lay on your piece like this. Put your hand right on. If you need to tip it up like this and get in there like this, go ahead. Um, another thing, also put water in the black. A couple drops. You want it to really flow nicely. Okay, so you're gonna load your brush up with a pretty good amount of paint. Like that. You want a kind of like a ball on the end. So you're gonna rest your hand and you're going to touch your paint to the plate. I know I've told people this in classes before, um, but it really, you don't wanna use all your, you wanna touch your, your paint to the plate. So like here, you're just having a real light hand and making a line, okay, like that. You do not wanna do this. That's where you get the big fat lines, okay? Now, if your lines are fatter than mine, it's okay. You just want to be consistent, all right? Um, so, I would start with maybe a little part. Like, let's start with this line here. And now, if you can't see your outlines of, like, your roses as especially, you can trace over them again. I did do that a little bit. Um, make sure it's really dry, though, okay? So, I'm going to start here. Hold on, hold on. And I'm going to outline the paper of the flowers. That's it. You know, you don't want to fuss with it. Just do one time, one line. You don't, you want to resist the urge to have like hash marks. Don't do this. Don't do that. Just go with it. Okay, there's that. Load your brush every time you want a good amount of paint. You don't want it to drip off the end, but you want it to have a good amount of paint on there. And I'm gonna go up here. Now, if you felt like you did that okay, let's move on. Now, typically we would start with the top of the plate and move down so our hand doesn't drag through this black part. But I just wanted you to guys to try the simple lines first before we got too, too crazy. So, and I'm kind of just looking at the template to give myself a guide of where I should be painting. Now this got a little light. I'm gonna go back over it. Look, I got a little wonky there. It's okay. It's supposed to look hand painted. You guys did not buy this at Walmart or wherever. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot to do these green stems. So we're gonna have to do that before we go over that part. But do this. And come up here. Um, Bob Ross, I am not, I am not. I don't have a calming voice like that. I hate hearing myself on a video. I don't know if you guys ever hear yourself record and you're like, oh my God, I sound like that. Yeah. It's reality. There's the black line. It's not perfect. I got a little wonkiness here. It's okay. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, that's it basically for the line. But let's go up here to the flowers. So let's start with, let's start with these easy guys here. And you can make them really thin, that's okay. They don't have to be the same thickness. You're just, you're putting them in there like little happy trees. No. So there's that. We'll do, we'll do these guys next. Now we'll go around. Can you see me? Am I going off the edge? Okay, sorry guys. Do this circle. Circles are hard, but they do not have to be perfect. That circle is certainly not perfect. There you are. And one more. Okay. Let's just start over here. So for the leaves, make sure you don't drag your hand across this part again, but I'm gonna probably do it, but you don't do what I do, okay? So we're gonna go, whoop, try to do it in one line. Don't stop and start if you can help it. And we're just gonna put a little Swoosh in there where you put that dark green. So to get it pointier at the edge, just like we did before, you're going to lift up while you get to the edge. Okay? That takes a little practice, but your outlines definitely get better every time you paint. So don't be upset if your lines don't look like mine. I have been painting for a long time. So, like I like to say, I stink at a lot of things in life. Painting lines I can do. So, I'm sure you guys do like a whole bunch of things better than me. But with practice, you can totally get really good at this, I promise. Oh, I don't like how I did that. It got a little squirrely there. So that part's a little thicker. It's okay. This lip is going to catch you up a little bit. Try to go real slow over the dip there. Sorry if I'm sniffling. Allergies are a thing. Okay, don't forget the stem coming down. Okay, so those were definitely not perfect, but you yeah, know. So now we're gonna go to the little purple cone flower guy here. I have a little less paint on this one because it's really kind of a tiny thing. And don't even worry about completely following your flower outline just kind of do it I'm having a really light hand while I'm doing that I'm gonna get grab this bottom part here okay and gosh I'm totally touching some black I'm gonna smear this so don't go in the way that I'm going. Like, if you want to start with the bottom part like I did to practice, <clears throat> then hair dry it before you move along. Oh, look. Okay, I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Not panicking if you get black somewhere it's not supposed to be because that is a thing that might happen. And... If you try to wipe it when it's on top of paint, you're going to ruin all your artwork underneath of it. So don't do that. Let's see. Put those 
lines back in. If you see you have black on your finger like that, like wipe it off before you <laughs> start touching things again. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to this flower. See, it's not quite round. It's okay. It honestly really looks better that way. Your lines do not have to match the original lines that were drawn on there. Just kind of look at the picture for some inspiration of where to put it. Okay, so now we have this fabulous rose. Roses are wonky. That's the good news of roses. So you're kind of going in a spiral. And then once you get in the middle, it's kind of like a triangle kind of thing. that okay that's that's it don't make it more complicated than it is while you're doing this outlining you might get a little clumpy paint on your brush um, like if you're taking longer than I am especially your brush is kind of gonna get goopy go ahead and rinse it out every once in a while dry it off make sure you dry it and then go back to painting because that way it'll let the black flow off of it much nicer okay so we're gonna go to the Leaf again, start at the bottom and go up to the point. So you're gonna, whenever you're doing a point, <clears throat> a leaf, anything like that, start not at the point. Ooh, I don't like that one. So you're gonna say this to yourself like the whole time. Um, I'm just gonna go in and make this line bigger, kind of make it look like I meant to do that. And like I said, the good news of this plate is it's so imperfect. That little swish. Go around these guys. See how some of my lines are not the same thickness? It's okay. Like if I was doing a platter that was like definitely more like, I don't know. A flag or a house or something that was like straight lines really precise like I would be certainly more worried about my outlines but I promise when things are fired they always look nicer they always look like wow I did that yes you did these ones I'm finding it easier to go up and around I don't know. You might think so, or maybe you want to do it like you did the leaves, but I don't know. Something about that makes it easier. I get a little funny here, so again, I'm just going to thicken that part to make it make sense like I meant to do it. Here we go. So I hope you guys are outside enjoying the sunshine. If you're not seeing this video till later, I still am having a hard time uploading a little bit longer videos. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi or my phone or both. Probably both. Sorry about that. I really thought it was going to be quick and easy to do this. 
guess now I know. It's kind of looking like a bouquet of flowers. Look at that. Okay, this little rose here. And you can kind of just make up this swirly jabber. Like, if you don't want to draw it back in, just kind of make it up. Or you can use a pencil, look at the sample, the design template, and put it back in. <clears throat> Let's see here. I am going to do this one next. Cute. Adding more water to my black because it was seeming a little bit gloppy. Okay. Little guy. Yeah, the better, the more, like, you don't want it super watery, but, like, if you kind of can tell that you're seeing through your black and it looks like watercolor, then you have a little bit too much water in there. You can, like, add more black to your mixture or just scrap the whole thing and start over. Like, you have enough black in there to, like, do a lot of work with, so don't worry. circle back in again you could use that eraser deal where you just do the dot in the middle if you want there we are it's starting to look good y'all okay a couple more things up here I get done with these flowers I'm going to break and get um like just chop up the video again because I'm worried that these videos are too long they're going to be too hard to upload gosh are you sick of hearing my problems with my technology I am totally am Ooh, I got some black right there. Don't do what I'm doing, guys. I'm trying to be too quick. Like, you can do a little bit and stop and let it dry. So, because there's so many little things here. Do you see that I'm, like, turning the plate to, like, make it, like, in a better position for me to rest my hand? Like, do that. It's helpful. Okay. So all I need here is, like, I feel like this guy here is, like, floating around, like, however I traced it, like, the stem isn't there anymore. So I'm going to put the green stem in and then come back. It's like, I feel like it should be like that. Okay. <laughs> what did I miss? I missed those little guys up top. Oh, okay. So these are easy. Those little black outline flowers that we did the blob behind. So I like literally just want you to do this. 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 So, but turn your plate. This. Like, that's it. They're not real amazing. Um, <clears throat> that one kind of stinks. So I would do more like 
Here, you know what? I made this black blob here, so I'm going to make the flowers right here. <gasps> I fixed it. So do more paint and make kind of like the leaf, make it rounder at the top, unlike I did on that last one that I'm going to have to go back and fix. Okay. Guys, look, it's looking nice. Yeah, I'm rounding these out here because they're a wonk. I like that word today. Guys, I didn't even say a bad word yet. Are you shocked? Are you proud of me? I really do have an edit button. I know you wouldn't think so. But I do. So they're going to get a little smaller as you go here. See how I'm like putting my pinky down? Oh, I'm almost going out of the frame. Jeesh. Wouldn't that be fun if I just like painted the whole thing out of the frame and then I had to paint it all over again for you guys? Maybe that already happened. Maybe this is take two. No, not really. I'm gonna put one right in the middle. And you can kind of just make it up. Like, you think there's a spot there that you need something else? Go for it. Probably out of the frame. Sorry. It's super hard to paint like far away from me like this. Like, usually I have the plate like tucked up under me almost. So I'm clearly adding, I think, more than we're originally there. Awesome. Then you're going to take the black and just don't do a line down from all of them. Just kind of like really lightly sketch some lines in here. And they can go like right through the black because you can't tell the difference if it's like on top or below. So just a couple like little sketchy lines like that. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to pause it. We're going <clears> to <throat> outline the tag and write the things and do the edge, and uh, we're going to be done. We're almost done. Yay, you're doing so good. I can tell. 